Remember to click subscribe and notification button for more APA's video. Cooking APA Hi, this is Cooking APA. I'm at Taman Desa now. Right in front of me is the Faber Tower. So why am I here today? Let me zoom out for you. Right opposite, there's one stretch of a Malay store. And one of them happens to sell my most favorite ayam penyet. And today, the owner is generous enough to uh, show us how she make her uh, signature dish, which is the ayam penyet. Right, so this is the one I'm referring to, Norisa Celera Desa. Uh, they started opening very early in the morning, I think 6 a.m. or maybe 6.30. You already got a lot of things to eat. Uh, by the way, if you hear my voice is a bit muffled because I'm wearing a mask. So I hope you all still can hear me very clearly. Yeah? Let's walk across the road now. Hi, I just arrived at uh, her store, Norisa Salera Desa. Uh, they told me to actually come at about close to 4 p.m. Uh, in the late afternoon because this is their off-peak time. Uh, if I come early in the morning or during lunch time, there's no way I can uh, make this video. They will be too busy. Uh, there are many stores here. Uh, I can briefly show you. There are many stores here, but I think they are the uh, best uh, business among the all. And uh, like I mentioned, the ayam pengit is really great. You must try. Okay, you must you must really try. Um, I'm now waiting for the uh, for another 10 minutes before uh, the owner is ready for the interview and also making uh, the ayam pengit for us from scratch. Yeah, she will be showing step by step on how to make the make the uh, ayam pengit. Okay, we are very lucky here today with. Uh, Puan Norisa, Matik Norisa with us, she's the one who agreed to me that she will be sharing her secret recipe on the Ayam Pengit, one of the best in town, in KL Kuala Lumpur. Okay, let's hear from uh, Matik Norisa. Hi, selamat petang. Selamat datang ke Norisa Selera Desa. Okay, okay. Thank you so much for sharing your recipe. Thank you, thank you. Welcome. Okay, so we are going to start with making the uh, chili paste, yeah, the sambal for the ayam penyet. So what we have here, this is the gula melaka, the palm sugar, uh, one big block of uh, belacan, okay, this is the belacan paste, uh, fermented shrimp paste, tomato, uh, shallot and garlic, uh, red chili, big red chili, and I see her also mixing half with uh, chili padi which is the spicy chili, yeah? Bird eye chili. And then we have some lemongrass, ginger, and some turmeric. Okay, so here's the ingredient for the sambal for making ayam pengit. Okay, so the first thing is to uh, saute. Yeah, it is to saute the uh, shrimp paste, the lachan. So you want to break the shrimp paste into uh, smaller pieces while you are pan frying it. Oh, it's actually, the flavor is very strong. <laughs> the aroma is very strong. Okay, putting in the shallot and also garlic. Continuing uh, sauteing. But of course you won't be using uh, this amount at your home, right? So this is for their commercial use. Okay. okay, after a while, add in the chili. You, you may be wondering how come uh, she never uh, cut or chop up any of the uh, chili and garlic and onion. All is in a big chunk. Because after frying this, she's going to use a blender to blend everything up okay, into a fine uh, paste. So that's how uh, commercial commercially to be done at home uh, you can use their way also can or you can uh, you can use a blender to chop out the thing and then only you uh, uh, saute them 
she just added the tomato. The tomato is actually there to uh, also uh, one one way is going to um, tone down the spiciness of the chili. Another way is going to pro uh, provide a little bit of uh, citrusy to this uh, sambal. So uh, while waiting for the chili, she's just bruised some uh, lemongrass for the soup. Okay, that's for the soup. Halia. Ini halia untuk soup juga. Ah, halia. So, so slice off a few pieces of uh, ginger for the soup as well. So sekarang ni semua untuk soup. Yeah. Oh, okay. So and then uh, this is. Ini supunya. The red onion is also for the soup. Now we are making the soup while waiting for the chili to saute. We won't waste any time. Bawang putih. Garlic. Garlic, yeah, boss, yeah. Mm. Garlic. Okay, the, the magic just shared with us, don't use too high heat. Uh, try to use me, uh, medium fire to uh, saute the, the chili paste because if not, your blachan can go burn very easily. Okay, okay uh, in order to make the soup, she's actually uh, the soup base will be besides the onion will be the chicken. So she's actually used use some uh, chicken feet for the for this particular soup. Alright, she's starting to uh, mix the the soup for the ayam penyet. Okay, we're going to saute garlic and, and uh, red onion. Doing both things at the same time. This is, uh, you see, whoever inside the kitchen will definitely understand this. We won't waste time. Yeah. Every every food that we prepare, there are some waiting time. So while waiting for this, you can do another one. Okay, you want to saute until the, the, the aroma actually came out. Okay, now she's adding in the chicken, uh, chicken food, chicken feet, the uh, lemongrass, and also ginger slices, and continuing sorting. So, uh, Marty just informed us that uh, she will need to saute this chili paste for about 20 to 25 minutes before she put it over to the blender. Right. She, she just added a little bit of, of one bowl of water to let it simmer. Okay, she just added in some uh, chicken powder ah. and also she before this she also added some salt. Any and, uh, okay, she will be adding in some MSG. Ah. Ini yang barusan bos cakap. Ah, ah, and this is one interesting ingredient. Okay. They call it uh, rempa soup. Rempa soup. Uh, I think it's from Adabi. It is from Adabi. Uh, rempa soup. Rempa meaning spices. So it's a ready mix spice soup. Spices from uh, Adabi. Okay. And then she will continue uh, saute them together. It is now simmering. This is the soup. And this is the chili paste. Okay, she just added some uh, water to the soup. So, um, while waiting for the chicken paste, uh, no, the chili paste and the soup, we are she actually started to make the ayam penyet. Yeah, wow, very fast. So we have uh, some lemongrass chopped up and then she took out the blender. So this is turmeric. Nah, ini apa bos? Yeah, turmeric lah. Turmeric, okay. Mm. Yeah. 
putih inside the blender. Bawang putih. Bawang putih is uh, garlic. Garlic. Put it inside the oil. Salia, which is uh, ginger. This is old ginger. <coughs> you really have to adjust the amount okay. yourself at home. Salia, bawang putih. Okay, she's also adding in some lengkuas. Uh, what is lengkuas in English? I also can't remember. Uh, blue, galangal, sorry, yeah, galangal, blue ginger. Go to put it inside. We are okay. making the spices to marinate the chicken, yeah? And then she's adding some coriander seeds inside. Okay, so she has added in probably about one bowl of uh, water to ease the uh, blending process. Very fast, within a minute or two, everything will be blended finely. I missed the scene just now, she actually just added uh, one egg inside to, and then continue uh, blending. Yay! Hey. Ah. Yeah, this is very good. Uh. Now you're going to marinate the whole thing. I just talked to the owner just now because um, they also sell normal fried chicken. And I taste this, uh, the ayam pengi and fried chicken, they actually oh, taste oh, different. The uh, ayam pengen of course taste, taste much better and they just show you uh, how they made it because uh, they never hide anything. Uh, this is their, their recipe, yes? Garam. Garam, okay, we are going to add in some salt. Like I said, she's very generous. sharing all the recipe. Ah, boleh lah, sikit memang pakai. Memang, tapi jangan banyak. Ah, yeah, jangan banyak Okay. Okay, they also added a little bit of uh, MSG there. Uh, they are making this uh, smaller portion just for us for the purpose of this particular video. Usually they will make at 7 a.m. in the morning every day. And now they are going to add in some tapong, some flour. What flour is it? Ini tapong apa? Corn flour. Okay, they will add in some corn flour shortly. But you want to mix up everything so that uh, to make sure the ayam pengit is uh, the, all the chicken is nicely marinated and coated with the rempa, the spices. Ini ayam biasa kan? Eh, ayam biasa. Buka ayam kampung eh? Bukan, bukan, bukan. Ayam biasa. So she's added in the uh, tepung gandong. This is the uh, cornstarch. Bukan tepung gandong lah, bos. Huh? Oh, bukan tepung gandong, sorry. Eh? Tepung jagung. Tepung jagung, jagung, ah. jagung yeah. Cornstarch is tepung jagung. I said wrongly. Okay, basically you, you want to make the whole thing like a very thick consistency so that uh, uh, there will be a thin crust. Yeah, there will be a thin crust coating over your ayam. And that's where it makes it very crispy later. So, berapa lama kasih marinade? Biasa? Uh, biasa 10 minit lah. Oh, 10 Baru minit sudah cukup. Ha. Lepas tu boleh terus goreng sudah. Uh. Oh, okay. Actually, langsung they only marinate for about 10 minutes. Then you can continue nah, langsung goreng to, apa. to uh, ha. fry already. Hmm. Okay, this, this is after about 20 minutes sauteing the uh, chili paste. So she's now chopping the gula garam, the palm sugar. Now, what's the difference between palm sugar and normal sugar is that it actually gives you some coconut uh, flavor, additional flavor. Actually, more it gives you, it gives your your dish a lot more full body. So try to use palm sugar in many of your dishes. You then you can actually tell the difference. It's not just sweet, but with some coconut aroma. Okay, so we chop up some of it and then uh, add it in into uh, the chili paste. Right after this, kita kena blend kan? Ya, ya, ya. So right yeah. after this, we will uh, bring so all this to the blender. Okay. Okay, 
Okay, so you just added in the rum or the chili paste into the blender and blend it. I'm telling you, I'm a I'm a great fan of their ayam penyet and their chili paste really play a very important role. It's, it really tastes very good. And now I know why their chili paste is a little bit spicy because they put in the bird eye chili, the chili buddy. chili paste okay now we are preparing to fry the chicken okay uh, of course actually normally they will use a lot more oil because today they are just want to do for demonstration for this particular uh, video so uh, they, they use actually much uh, this is about maybe not even half of the usual oil that they are using and they want to use hot oil to uh, deep fry and uh, the owner was just sharing with me just now Usually when we cook at home, you don't put as much oil, therefore uh, uh, the, whole, the whole chicken cannot be fully submerged under the hot oil. And it ends up that we will actually um, fry the hot the chicken for much longer. And that's the reason when we try to deep fry chicken at home, the chicken will tend to be more um, harder. But if you come here to eat their chicken, I'm telling you even their chicken breast, the fried deep fried chicken breast is actually very tender. The, the secret is actually have to you really have to put in a lot of oil to make sure your chicken is fully submerged under the hot oil. Okay, while waiting for the chicken, actually the soup is also ready. Uh, you just have to uh, uh, use some salt and sugar to taste, adjust to taste uh, towards the end, uh, be right before serving. Okay, so she's, the oil is ready. Okay, she can put it in now. Yeah, put it down. See what happened here, the chicken is fully submerged under the oil. So the second one is actually, uh, is it, uh, I think it's the chicken wing part, which is a lot more thicker. Like I said, uh, today they actually put in lesser oil, yeah? much lesser oil for the demonstration purpose. So, berapa lama ini kena goreng? Semasaknya aja. Lebih kurang? 10 minit? 20 minit lah. Ha? 20 minit. Okay, you said probably somewhere around 15 to 20 minutes, but usually it's uh, based on their experience and view and based on their eyeballing. They will look at the chicken and see how the condition and then to decide uh, whether it's done or not. Uh, like I always mention, one way is by looking at the bubble, creating from the hot oil. Uh, when you see the bubble getting lesser and lesser, that's meaning the, the the water coming out from the ingredient is making lesser and lesser. A sign telling you your ingredient or your chicken is almost done. Actually, just now I did not see any uh, smoke coming out from the oil, so they are not definitely using about medium, medium high heat, somewhere around 150 to 160 degrees. Definitely not 180 and above. Oh, the chicken is turning golden color, beautiful. Wow, look at this. This is only few minutes. Wow, so nice. Okay, so this is the meaning of pengit. Ah, this is what pengit actually means. Goreng <laughs> lagi. Oh, halfway then came out uh, pengit, the uh, crush and bruise the chicken and then let it continue um, cooking oh this will actually help the cooking process definitely yeah we'll make the uh, make sure the chicken will be uh, fully cooked inside oh this is when they do the panyet and this is how panyet gets its name i thought most of the time they actually do the panyet uh, to work when the, everything is ready they actually do it halfway Hey, Marty is actually cutting out some tempeh, fermented uh, soya bean and going to deep fry it later and serve it together with the ayam penyet. I think it's some fried tofu as well. Mm. 
we very quickly marinate the tempeh and tofu with some of the rempa, the spices just now, before deep frying, to give it some extra flavor. Actually, they are really very smart because they actually, they actually uh, painted the chicken just now uh, halfway. So that it's easier, even though the chicken is very big, but it's actually easier for, uh, for them to make sure inside out is fully cooked at the same time. Oh, look at how beautiful it is. My God, check out how beautiful is this chicken. I'm telling you, I, 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 this is really my most favorite fried chicken. One of the most, uh, the best I've ever had in KL. Okay, she's starting to uh, put in uh, all the ingredients, combining the ingredients into a serving plate. I have requested them to show one plate with drumstick and one plate with uh, chicken wing because these are the two that I always order and I will tell you why later Ooh. And then now we are only waiting for the tofu and tempeh Okay, our ayam pengit, this is Appa's personal feral ayam pengit is ready. So, like I mentioned earlier, I requested one uh, breast, chicken breast with uh, chicken wing, and also one with uh, the drumstick. Now, of course, when it comes to crispiness, the drumstick is the best, but it has uh, lesser flesh, lesser meat. And then, this is why sometimes I will actually order the chicken breast that comes with a chicken wing. Um, in normal situation, both fried chicken outside, if you order chicken breast, it will be very uh, dry. But I'm telling you, the chicken breast here is very, very juicy and very tender. Seriously, go and try it. Because they use a lot of oil to deep fry it and also they have uh, actually painted the chicken halfway through before and to make sure inside out is fully cooked at the same time okay so um, I hope you like I will put all the information of this particular uh, shop the store uh, the location everything at the end of this video and also inside the description of the video so you can find out there and come and have a try they open very early I think um, it, I will put the operating hours later but they also sell, I, I, also, I can already eat their breakfast at about 6 or 7 a.m. And then um, they, are, they are really nice. They are selling a lot of nasi champo. Nasi champo. You Early morning, you can also see a lot of nasi champo. Uh, it's really my favorite. Okay, so I hope you all like this particular video. If you like the video, do share your video, my video on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Appa Facebook fan page to click like and follow button. Follow up on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Appa YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Bye bye.